In the woods stands a house for bears. Papa bear, mama bear and baby bear live there. Every morning they sat and they ate porridge in bowls and porridge on plates. Papa had a big bowl and baby bear a little and mama's was a size right in the middle. And each of the bears had their own chairs. A big one, a medium and a little one were there. Just like the three beds in this house in the wood, a different one for each bear, side by side they stood. Their porridge this morning was just too hot. Let's go for a walk, Papa Bear thought. By the time we get back, nice and cool it will be. Just a short walk in the woods, you'll see. No one will bother our house of three bears. Break into our house, no one would dare. But the thing that Papa Bear didn't realise was that a little girl, a girl of small size, and with hair of gold and so nicely dressed, was happily skipping her way through the forest. She came to their house and peeked in the window. No one was home, so... What do you think Miss Goldilocks should do? What would you do if it was you? Would you go inside a house not yours if nobody answered when you knocked on their doors? Goldilocks went in and sat at the table. The table was large and she was just able to reach the bowls of porridge there because the table was made for the size of a bear. Three bowls of porridge were set before her. The big bowl was too hot, so she tried another. Mama Bear's porridge was cold as ice, but Baby Bear's porridge, she thought, tasted nice. So she ate the whole bowl. She ate it all up. She even drank the milk from Baby Bear's cup. Then Goldilocks wanted to sit and rest. So she tried the bear's chairs to see which was best. Papa Bear's chair was too hard for her rump. Mama Bear's was so soft she sank in a slump. So she tried the smallest bear's chair out next but it broke, and that made her feel terribly vexed. Worn out and tired, she found the bear's beds and tried to lay down where they laid their heads. She tried Papa Bear's bed, but it didn't feel good, and Mama Bear's bed didn't feel like it should. But then she tried out the smallest bear's bed. This is just right, Goldilocks said. She curled herself up, buried in blankets deep. And before she knew it, she was fast asleep. But oh no, what's this? Who's coming back round? The three bears are back and what have they found? Someone's been here, but there's more. When they get inside, hear Papa Bear roar. Someone's been eating my porridge, he said, and sat in my chair and slept in my bed. Then Mama Bear checked, and sure enough, someone had been into all of her stuff. Someone's been eating my porridge too, Mama Bear said. Oh, what should we do? They've been in my chair and slept in my bed. And here's a blonde hair from a little girl's head. Now Baby Bear checked 
And what a surprise! He checked again, he rubbed his eyes. His porridge was all gone, eaten all up. And gone was the milk from his little cup. Someone, some meanie, had broken his chair and slept in his bed. And they were still there. Now Goldilocks awoke, and what did she see? Bears standing around her. One, two, three! Oh, she was so scared she didn't know what to do. So up she jumped, and out of the window she flew. Goldilocks never came back. She stayed far away from the house of bears that she'd been in that day. And maybe she learned something. And maybe not. But let me leave you with this one thought. If the house isn't yours, you should really stay out. You never know when there'll be bears about.